Hey everybody, I want to do a quick check-in. We're on the Tallahassee job. We're really focused on the grotto right now, and this is one of the largest grottos we've ever done, so we want to show a lot of the progress along the way. So come with me and let's check this one out. But right now you can hear the guys are chipping away at rocks. They've got to sometimes create very specific angles to get the rocks to fit together properly. So we're at one entrance to the grotto, which this is kind of the main entrance to get to the lazy river area and to get to the spa. There's another way to get from the other side that involves bridges, but we don't have the bridges up yet. So what I'd like to do is take you guys inside and give you an idea of what we're doing under here. If you look at this crazy massive structure we had to build just to support all the rock we're going to do on top, uh, I mean, I got to tell you, this is probably the coolest thing we've done to date so far, and I cannot wait for everybody to see it completed. What the guys are doing now, they're setting the secondary waterfall that comes backwards off the grotto. Behind the wall there is the spa underneath the grotto. The water is going to cascade down into this koi pond and we're going to have double bridges that come up over the river so you can see the koi pond or walk down this way to the fire feature or go over the other side of the river and go around to where the tiki hut's going to be. The grotto got finished and stripped and it's probably the biggest one we've ever done. This is where you pick up the lazy river. This is not something you see in most people's backyard, but like you can see, it's gonna be crazy. The whole spa, by the way, is a spillover spa. So the spa is spilling over into the pool while waterfalls are spilling over in front of that. Well, I'm here standing in one of our largest grottos that we've ever built. Now, since this thing's all done, now it's time to move on to the spa, which now you can see I got it all leveled up. I got my mud on there and this is all dry and scraped. I'll put my beach pebble on it. This spa was meant to be a little different. Now, since they changed the plans, I'm here to fix the plans. I gotta build this up higher because if I don't, the water will spill in the pool. We wanna keep the water in the pool. Well, we got all the forms pulled down from underneath our structure. Man, I brought in like a hundred ton of rock in this project and I didn't drop a single one. Well, Lucas seems to love all this beach pebble. It does look good, but he's not the one that's installing it. This thing's gonna take forever. Hopefully it dries quick. Well, come on, baby. Let's try. I don't know what's going on, man. Usually I snap my finger and it works. All right, one more time. Dry. Yay. Ugh. We'll see what presents I got here. Oh, look at that. My favorite thing in the world. Now since I got my beach pebble, I get to do my, my second favorite thing in the world. Pull all these off the mat. After you put this all on, I mean, if this was the wall, then I gotta put grout in this. These come on the mat, so if this was a round wall, it's easy to stick like this. This does not turn. This is only good for flat walls. Up here, you can't turn that at all. So you gotta take every one off the mat and then put them right back on. Individually laid, yay. I'm not that great with math. Like 35 to 40 on each one. I give up counting after 10. 5,000, 5,001, uh, end of a lifetime. In all, in all, at least I'm in the shade. I have four more boxes. I'm gonna be here for a while. The TV, I'm gonna have to do some sort of retention landscape and boulders or something. So there's 16 speakers and four subwoofers okay. across four zones. So each zone will have four speakers and a sub. We're not gonna have to have a sump pump. That's a sump pump right sure. there. I'll probably come off of this corner of the pool right here with some concrete. Basically, the wall is gonna even out with the bottom of this. I need at least one inch above your wall for pitch away from my pool towards the wall so the water drains that direction. The last one of these I did, you know, you had your sump down low, but we built the, the rest of the TV sat up above all. I mean, it was this high out of the ground. Can't we do that? So we just have to build the box that contains the TV up higher. Usually we just wrap the box in some sort of pretty wood or something like that. Yeah, this is what I saw right here. He's out there holding something so we can see the height. 
<laughs> I thought we were going to come off no, the corners of the weir wall and center it off of that. So it actually would be about 10 feet this way. Yeah, I think that TV's too far over that way. So you'll still see it from this angle. Those things are so clear. It is right there. Okay. I'm about halfway there. Um, it's definitely a challenge. Why can't we just get them without them on the mat? All right, here we go. I guess this is kind of therapeutic, making my Zen garden. Well, now only I got a million more to go. Stones here, and I'll come onto it. So it'll look like it's just spilling down off the rocks. And here's my trophy. Thank you all. Thanks for coming. I appreciate everything you did. It was a hard struggle to get through this. Uh, but you know what, we accomplished it. We set every pebble. Doing this, this beach pebble, it's gonna take me a while, but you can't rush perfection. I've been doing pebbles for a long time. Each time I do it, I find another way of doing it better or something making it easier. It's, it, this is definitely a tough job. I guess I do too good at my job because now I seem to do all the pebbles. I need to not be so good. Before, this was about the same angle all the way over. So I raised this up with concrete, put some rebar in it, waterproofed it a bunch. Now, instead of the water spilling out of the pool, it's gonna actually spill into the pool. Then I'll put stones all across this. I mean, right now it doesn't look that great, but when I'm done, this thing will look beautiful. I got my structure all in the place, so the next time you see me, it'll be all finished. Since this job's built on a slope, you have to build a retaining wall. Lucas has got me so busy doing other things, I can't be on a machine. So we have another company in there, they're digging the footers for all the retaining walls, so when that's all done, they can build a wall that holds all the dirt back on this pool job. So I put some boulders in each corner. The steps can be to where it's more favoring walking from here to there. It would be nice to have a rat slab to build everything off of. Brick it halfway and then that will give us time to bring our rock work up. Oh. Maybe we just rock right up into this so this is all natural. So we're going to have to come up here and investigate that pipe and move it for him. I didn't know where to put the steps but now that's beautiful. <laughs> No, this is going to look great because if you can imagine the, the radius coming in and then that matching. Well, if you like think about it, that gives you three ways to get in. And you're right, it gives, it, uh, the more vegetation we can do up here, the better. If we can get a palm and uplight it, we need palms well, uh, or something. We got Nate here with uh, Tallahassee Nurseries. He's doing a bunch of landscaping. We're very limited. We got maybe two, three palms. I mean, we need something along the, the coping. I want to do a lot of planters. I mean, I know that's the view. It looks so tropical to have a frond, something right in this corner. We start it here and lean it. Sylvester's would be really nice. Do you know, Billy, if he put me a sleeve to the top? No, we didn't. I'm gonna have to get creative. If we could pour a footer and then get it up in there, then I could build, like, take a basket boulders and build a planter here. The right way to do it is to run it in the slab and put multiple space that come up, because otherwise you can see a bunch of little tubes running up there. You know, because if the pot's here, right, there's a basin that fills up with water. It's gonna drain down and this is gonna wash whatever out. How are we doing? This thing has been modified, lifted. We're gonna do a little drag race fun. That against a TRX Hellcat. Now you may say that's cheating because I have a supercharger, but my truck's also at least a thousand pounds heavier, if not a little bit more. But we're gonna have a little fun in this field. See who's got the fastest cat this side of the Mississippi. Rawr. I forgot to take the traction control off and kept cutting my throttle. But I'm 
getting grass in here. I better roll up the window. All right, let's go, around it. <laughs> I had it in reverse. <laughs> what the? I almost ran into the pot. God, I wish you'd have taken out that plant. <laughs> I think we might need to get it a car wash before we bring it in. That was worth every penny. Oh, that was good. Oh no, look how much mud we got to kick off. So at least we didn't do this in the streets. We didn't go to jail. I do believe. Uh, I won. You got, I won. Not, not, not <laughs> the end of the race, but the first part, you know. Until the next time, which could be in like 30 seconds from now. think that we have outdone ourselves somehow some way we managed to do it bigger and better <laughs> <laughs>